Hello. So kind of give you a breakdown of what we're doing, right? So we have two semi trucks right now. Um, one is our bowl truck that we only use for bowl games and some extra storage in the summer. Um, we'll actually start moving it over to the game truck uh, today and I'll kind of show you that. Each truck has a um, certain area that each trunk will go into. So, so we'll start with our backup shoes, our game day staff shoes, our rain jackets, even though we're playing inside of a dome. Some people think I'm funny for doing that, but if you guys watched the 2010 National Championship game, Gene Chizik actually wore a rain jacket in a dome. So always come prepared for that. But it is a process that so we started we started packing about two weeks ago. Um, get everything ready, everything came back from dry cleaner. Um, so we started loading everything up and then game helmets got done three weeks ago. And now everything is just now being looked at. Just double checking, make sure that uh, the fit was right two weeks ago. Now it's just polishing, decal placement, making sure everything's right. And then tomorrow, after practice, we'll start loading all that in and then finish up loading this. So Coach Mel's on. All of his stuff for game day. This is what he'll be wearing on game day. Um, but if he wants to wear a long sleeve shirt, um, a quarter zip, anything else, we kind of have that for him. Um, his game pants, um, obviously his slacks, his undershirts um, is all ready for him. You got your, this your, your bank bag, right? Simple little bank bag, but it's full of all his double bubble. So he's good to go. Little bank of pens that he likes to use. His hats, everything that you guys, like any one of our coaches would need. Coach Porter always wears a white hat, so. Um, but we need excess. We got backup hats. We got a steam cleaner. Underwear. Socks. Each drawer has something different. This is the gum for the week. Uh, this is Gus's backup one. Your toiletry supplies, our uh, sideline trunk. So if a glove, if a glove tears or anything like that on game day, we always have something on the sideline for us. Um, quarterback towels, extra pins, extra shoelaces. Um, I'll pull this one out. Obviously, Stidham is graduate jersey. Everything is ready to roll. The game pant will go on. Uh, just slips right on in, and then his girdle of everything he likes to wear on game day. It's all player specific, so everybody wears different things. So it's just one of those things that you gotta sit there and ask them. Um, they come and try everything on, make sure it's right. The idea is when they get to game day, there's no surprises. That they already know what's there. They don't have to worry about anything, just go play football, so. It's got more spikes than anything, Mom. No, Mom's got more spikes. Newton of the 10 speed, we got no 10 speed now. <laughs> got automatic. Yeah, you make me look good. I've looked bad all my life. I need you to make me look good. <laughs> my name is Mark Shepard. My name is Greg Trail. I normally drive for Walmart. I've been in the trucking business for 37 years. I started driving 35 years ago. And so opportunity came to do this uh, with my move and I was more than happy to do it. And a friend of mine asked me when I do this, uh, drive the Auburn football equipment truck. So of course I said yes, I'm just having a great time doing this. Uh, we're on our way to Atlanta, play Washington, season open. And, uh, we're just excited about this year and uh, having a great season. First trip we went to Tuscaloosa. Some guy starts running, some Alabama guy starts running down beside the truck trying to hop to get up on the running board like he's going to ride with us. There, he's running right beside the truck down the street. Now, my daughter said he's trying to get up here and said, well, then go ahead and get up there. He won't stay on there long. But it was, it was, uh, 
it was a memorable experience for me, very memorable. And uh, when we come out of there, I told her, I said, I, I don't know what the guy was trying to prove, but he must have ran four or five blocks beside the truck trying to get up on the steps. Most of you, you know, most people where we go, people wave at us, want me to blow the air horn. And in Athens, Georgia, they just teach them how to use one finger. <laughs> and, and, and that's that's about all they learn in Athens, you know. <laughs> I called Mark and asked him would he be interested in doing it. And then uh, uh, Gary Dodd's another guy that helps drive. And when you look at their record, they're, they're both going on three million miles accident free from driving a truck. That's, you know, that equates to 30 some years without an accident. We, we tried to find the best of the best to, uh, to do this job. You hear that? You're the best of the best. That's what I needed right there. If you had to edit everything else out, Jack, don't edit that out. <laughs>